So right here, I have a brief demonstration I want to show you on the importance of protecting uh, nutrients when you go to apply them. So this is an example of complexing. And right here, I have an unprotected source of phosphorus. And here is a protected source of phosphorus. And this is actually our product, Rutex. Okay? Here I have a calcium-based solution. And I want to go and I want to show you what happens when you use unprotected nutrients. So let's uh, zoom in here and, and I'm going to add phosphorus to this calcium based solution. And instantly you'll be able to see a reaction going on. That is tie up. That is what's going on in our soils essentially. Okay, you can see that reaction going on in there. Okay, all right, let's give it a good stir. Okay, let's go over to the redox side right here. Redox is complex phosphorus source. I'm gonna add it to this uh, calcium base. Okay, what you can see is no reaction going on. Okay, let's give it a good mix. Okay, that uh, Rutex in that calcium solution is in suspension. Okay, it is a protected source. All right, and to show you visually a little more, I want to screen these through a mesh screen. Okay, let's give it a good mix. Okay, here we go. Now, if you look at even the flask, you can see what's left over. Okay, now you can even see the filter is plugged. So I'm going to set this here, let it drain a little more. Okay, now let's go to the redox side. Okay, make sure we got that good. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can see that it went through the mesh screen. And I want to take it. This one, still going. Unprotected source, protected source. 